Welcome. So what I have here is the vertex equals negative 2 comma 1, and the directrix equals x equals 1. And what I'd like to do is show you how to write the standard form of the equation. Um, so the first thing I want to do is identify where's the axis symmetry. Is that going to be horizontal or vertical? Because that will help us determine what type of equation we're going to be using. So let's go ahead and plot the information that we have. Um, here I have a vertex at negative 2, 1. That's up 1. And a an, uh, directrix at x equals 1. So that's going to be over 1. Up one. Now remember, when we're looking at a parabola, the parabola always opens up away from the directrix, right? So it's going to be open up here. And remember also that the directrix is perpendicular to my axis of symmetry. All right, so that's very important for me to be able to see that now I know that, OK. So my parabola, since my directrix is vertical, that means my axis of symmetry has to be horizontal. That means my parabola has to either open up left or to the right. But since the directrix is to the right of my vertex, it has to open up to the left. Now let's write the standard of equation for a um, parabola that has a horizontal axis symmetry. And that's going to look like y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. All right. Now our vertex is in the form of h comma k. Notice that this is opposite of k, opposite of h. So by plugging that information, I have y opposite of 1, which would be negative 1, equals 4 times p times x opposite of negative 2, which would be plus 2. Now we need to figure out what p is. Now, p is the distance from the vertex to the focus. Okay, um, And so if here's the directrix, I know the focus has to be somewhere right around here. Now, the absolute distance from the vertex to the focus is equal to the vertex to the directrix. So from the vertex to the directrix is 1, 2, 3. That means all I need to do is go 1, 2, 3 to the left to find p. But notice, going from my vertex to my directrix, I'm going in the negative direction. Therefore, p is going to be negative. So I have y minus 1 squared equals 4 times negative 3 times x plus 2. Now I simplify that. y minus 1 squared equals negative 12 times x plus 2. Now I'm going to want to solve for um, x. So to do that, I'm going to have to apply distributive property here. And I'm going to want to expand this so I get y squared minus 2y plus 1 equals negative 12x minus 24. I'll add 24 to both sides. And I get y squared minus 2y plus 25 equals a negative 12x. Divide by negative 12. Divide by negative 12. And I get x equals a negative 1 12th y squared times minus 2y plus 25. I'm not going to distribute all the, all the way that through. I'll just leave that out in the front. Um, if we distributed that through, though, you would look something like this. x equals negative 1 12th y squared uh, plus y over 6 minus 25 over 12. Uh, so that is just another form that you could go ahead and uh, use for that. Um, but the main important thing is you want to solve for x, put it back into that standard form. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you write the equation of a parabola given the vertex and the directrix. Thanks.